Hello all and welcome to today's session. My name's Evan and we'll be going through the investment comparator today. Uh, if you can hear me, just type in hi into the chat box and I uh, will get today's session started. Perfect. So today we are going through the investment comparator strategy. We have made some changes to it. Uh, some of you may have known that previously it was purely just you select the product that you want to recommend and absolutely no comparison, but now we brought all the comparison screens as you would have seen in maybe like a super rollover or a pension rollover. So all those details are now coming through. So your features and fee comparison, that is all coming through and that's what we'll be demonstrating today. Um, if you do have any questions along the way, feel free to use the chat box. I have muted everyone and you won't be able to unmute yourself uh, just because there's a lot of people in here. So if you do have any questions, feel free to use the chat box. Um, but we'll start off very basic and simple, uh, the client's details. So we're in the assets screen at the moment. And this client already has some money in their savings account. Uh, that's important. And we'll, uh, we'll get to that in a second. And obviously, they do have an investment platform. Uh, now, when you are adding in these investment platforms, very simple, plus button, add the investment platform. And then from there, we can search from a list of investment platforms. So that will give you a full list. You can search for it. And then once that's done, hit save. And the last thing that I want to touch on in the client details is that once you do enter in that platform, automatically it will come through as a $0 balance. And if you do want to add in a value to that, that platform, you did need to expand this little arrow. And generally when you are looking at anything regards to assets or liabilities, it's always a good idea to expand on that arrow and add in a linked record. So for this particular platform, we want to be adding assets underneath it. And those assets are the investment options. So once we click on add new asset, you'll be able to select from manage funds, shares, EDFs, and investment options. And that will be whatever is available for that particular platform. Uh, if anything is missing, you can also create a custom product. Um, in terms of custom products, you can create custom platforms and custom investment options. And that's done in configuration, but we won't be going through that today. Um, also, when you do add in those assets, automatically you should come, come through the MERs and any other associated platform fees. And that data is provided from Chan West. Okay, that's pretty much it in regards to that screen. So now we're going to jump into the modeling into the advice. So I've already created an advice for this client. And let's just exit back into the modeling. And once you're in the modeling, obviously you're going to have your baseline scenario, which is their current fact find information versus scenario one, which is what we'll be doing our modeling on. From there, we scroll down, we've got the strategies tab. And there's two ways to go about it. Uh, one is that you can pretty much do a investment comparator and a, I guess, essentially an investment rollover from your current existing investment platform. So we have currently 70,000 in an existing platform. If you want, we can compare against other platforms and just move out of this BT into a new one. Uh, that's the first step. The second step is we have money sitting in our, in our bank account and we can use that money to then uh, invest into an investment platform. So those are the two options and you can do both within the in invest in a platform strategy. We've got a question here. If the client has a Comsec account with a handful of shares, are best to add each individually or create a Comsec platform and hold the assets under that. Uh, it's probably best to have them all added in individually, uh, just because you can have, um, I mean, you can create a, a custom platform and just call it a Comsec platform. And then from there, just add in the assets under that. Uh, that's not a problem. So e either all works. Um, yeah, it's, it's up to you whether you want to decide on how you want to do it. Um, I preferably would, just add them all individually. Otherwise you're creating extra work by adding a custom 
contact platform. Uh, yep, so from there, like I was saying, if you do have money in your cash account or your bank account and you want to use that to fund a investment platform investment, what we need to do is we need to use the withdrawal from investment strategy. Uh, now, some of you might be thinking that's a bit silly. Why can't I just use the money in the bank account? Well, unfortunately, that's the way the software works. Um, we need to specifically come into this withdrawal from investment strategy. From there, we can click on the plus button and this is where we can sell down any assets. So here we have some direct shares. We can also sell that and put that into our investment platform. So it's just a matter of selecting that asset. It will then appear here. You can obviously see that arrow, that's all important. And then we recommend that we sell down and yes, you're not really selling down your money from your bank account, but that money is being used to have in our funding capital. Now, funding capital is also used for other investment strategies, so directly held investments, and for your non-concessional contributions as well, and also doing a lump sum loan repayment. So that's, that's where we use the withdrawal from investment strategy. From there, that's pretty much all we need to know about the withdrawal from investment strategy. Uh, one other thing to note is that next to the name, you can see in brackets now, and that means as of today. So we can't actually withdraw from our bank account or sell down our shares in a year or in two months or in three years or whenever we want to do it. At the moment, we currently have now for these particular strategies. Um, in the future, Hopefully in the next two months, we'll be having future strategies. So you'll be able to do all that in the future. So I'll just close down this draw from investments. And the last thing we'll be going through is the invest in a platform. So that's just very simple. It's in the investment heading, invest in a platform. Um, we also have investing in investment platform, additional investments. And that's if we want to add um, additional investments in our current BT platform. So if we want to add on top of that, well, we've already withdrew 100,000 from their savings account and we can pretty much make it 170 if we want to. Uh, but we won't be going through that one. Um, and obviously that won't include any sort of comparisons because we're just making additional investments. So let's jump into this invest in a platform strategy. And here it is. So at the top, obviously you're gonna see your workflow. Let me get my pen out. So we're in the strategy details. From there, we'll be selecting a platform uh, or platforms to compare against. We'll be adding in investment options for those recommended platforms. We'll be doing our detailed comparison. So comparison against fees and features. Uh, the fees tab is where we'll be able to see the new fees for the recommended platform. Um, and also add in any additional fees that you may be charging your clients. And then you got your features gain and loss. So this is what, this is very important if you obviously want it to come through in the SFA document, um, because this features gain and loss will dictate what appears in the SFA document um, for a before and after comparison. And then the summary will just give you an outline of what we're doing exactly. From here, obviously we're in the uh, strategy details. So I'll start from the top. We have include 12 month of regular investments and withdrawals, and we've got a button here as well. So here is where we can add in regular, inve regular investments and regular withdrawals. Uh, quick note, if we go back to our client details, if the client currently has, um, I guess, a regular investment strategy or regular sell strategy, um, and that's part of their existing backline, then we can add it here as a linked buy or a linked sell. And that just means that it's a regular buy and we can put in the frequency as to how often that's happening. So they might be um, frequently investing $5,000 a year. And then from there, we can put in the start date and an end date. Um, if you have entered that in, 
within the fact find, then that will then appear in the strategy. And obviously those regular investments and withdrawals, um, investments, regular investments that's funded by their cash flow and withdrawals, that just means that that money is just gonna go into their bank account. From there, we have the recommended investment amount and that's just entered in here, just below. We've got the funding capital that we've withdrawn from and any additional funding uh, capital required. So, um, for example, let's just do 100,000. Then we've got the indicative fee balance, what their current risk profile is, and who's it for. From there, we've got the current platforms, and we'll include that in the comparison. The reset strategy is just going to make all this zero. And from there, we'll click on the next button and then we'll be able to select which platforms we want to compare against. Okay, so now we're in the platform list screen and it's very similar to your insurance comparator, your super and pension comparators. You see your existing one. You can add in model portfolios. So model portfolios can be created in configuration. Uh, it looks like I don't have any at the moment, but if you did, that would just load up the platform that you wanna add for the comparison. And it will also add in the investment options. So you don't have to do it in the next option screen. In the platform list, we can quickly search for whichever ones we wanna compare with. And we can use the filter, it's just the funnel on the right hand side by different categories, whether they're in your APL or not. And that can be configured in the uh, APL screen. And also certain platform features that are important to your client. And then once you hit apply, that will then filter out from the total list. Uh, for this comparison, I'm just gonna add in just two random ones. So we'll do Macquarie. So you just gotta click on the plus button on the left, and then that will be added to your platform shortlist. And we'll add in a uh, CFS first choice. Once that's loaded, we got the two and we're ready to go for the next step. So like I was saying before, this is the option screen. You're gonna get your existing BT appearing. They only have one investment option. You'll see the total amount of fees. And then you also see the asset allocation breakdown currently. Uh, you can change the graph and you can obviously hover over each key. I prefer to use the table view and just look at the numbers. So that's their current asset allocation. Then you've got your min and max, and then what the strategic benchmark is. So this one's looking too, pretty good. Uh, but obviously you've got your recommended platforms now. So this is where we go and add in whether it's a model or you currently created, or you can manually add in the investment options. I got another question here. Are the model portfolios available across various platforms or only available per specific platform? So uh, the model portfolios are purely based on specific platforms. So for example, this Macquarie Investment Manager, uh, you would have to create a model portfolio just for this particular platform. Um, however, you should be able to clone model portfolios so if you need to make any small changes here and there, uh, that's fine. Uh, but generally you wanna be creating multiple portfolios per platform and obviously per risk profile. Um, just to make it simple, I'm just gonna select maybe like one or two balance funds. So that's just loading. Even though it does say we found 20 investment options, uh, there's definitely a lot more than 20. 
Uh, you can tick on multiple. You don't need to click one by one and hit done. So that saves you a bit of time. Uh, for this one, I'll just select one. And from there, you need to put in the allocation. Uh, now, at the moment, you can only enter it in by percentage amount. We have gone feedback to allow to be added in as a dollar amount. Um, that will be coming eventually. Uh, one thing to note as well, there's a save as favorite button. And this is where if you are creating or adding in these options, that would be your model portfolio. This save it favorite button will easily save it as a model portfolio. So it will be applied for this particular platform. You put in the model portfolio name and then which uh, risk profile it uh, applies to. So you don't actually need to go directly into the configuration screen. You can also do it through this. So we'll just add in the last investment option for this CFS. So we'll add in two and we'll just split it up 50-50. Let's do 60. And then once you've gone to that 100%, it's going to load up, add in the fees, and then obviously your asset allocation breakdown. Once that's done, we hit the next button, and then that will take us to our details comparison. So in the details comparison, we've got the recommended investment amount, we've got the funding capital amount, any additional. And then we got our features comparison tab. So there's three tabs, we'll go through the feature comparison first. We've got our existing BT, we've got these two new platforms and the investment options. And if we scroll down, first we're looking at all the features. Um, obviously you've got this arrow, and from there, we can see all the different headings of features. From there on the right-hand side, you can see zero important features marked. That just means that each individual feature, you can mark it as something that's important to your client. And that would just make it a lot easier um, when you are going through the features gain and loss. So it's up to you whether you want to mark these as important or you can just wait until the features gain a loss screen, uh, but I will show you both ways anyway. Uh, the background information is just regarding, you know, the company itself. And we got selected product features. And you're pretty much seeing, you know, BT versus the other three. So it's just a matter of going through each heading and each particular features and what's important. Uh, what you can do as well, if you are looking for a particular feature, I would just expand every single heading. And then from there, we could say, um, let's say, let's, let's say we're, we're looking for this particular feature. So I'll just press on my keyboard control F, which will bring up the search bar just here and then search what you're after and then use that. And then you'll see the feature appear up or also on the right hand side. So if you're ever doing feature comparisons, that's probably the best way to search for something. And then from there, what we'll do is we'll just select a few ones as important. And I'll show you what I mean by in the features gain and loss. So it's up to you to do that feature comparison. The next tab is the like for like dollar amount. So like we said, we've got our existing and new. We can show fee details. So you see the total fees and then a breakdown. Any regular investment or withdrawals, obviously we didn't have any. 
Uh, but this is where we have multiple scenarios. So the first one is your baseline, which is what they currently have. And what will happen if we invest 100,000 into this BT? Because like we said, we are using only 100,000 and that's our recommended amount. And if we add 100,000, that would be the total fees. Um, obviously the, the existing one gets duplicated. So it's exactly the same. And then the second option would be all in Macquarie for 100,000. So these are the fees. But then you also get the growth split as well. And then from there, all in CFS and the fees and so forth. And then the next tab is the modeling tab. And this is where you add in your own scenario. So you can do a custom investment, whereas if you want to keep your existing BT or par partial in BT, then you can uh, specify that. But alternatively, we can just put in the full amount into the CFS. And then if we are gonna be doing any regular investments or if we did have any, um, you do need to enter in where that's gonna be allocated to. Also, if you're reinvesting income, you can have that ticked on as well. Once it's done, we mark that for use. And then that will be our newly recommended CFS first choice part four. Uh, another thing to note, uh, I'll bring it up once we get to the summary. But we'll go into the, uh, the next screen. So also, as you can see, the recommended investment amount was 100,000. Now we did have 70,000 in its existing BT. So the 70,000 plus another 30, so our funding capital has dropped by 30,000. So if you want to use the full 70,000 of your existing plus the 100,000 of the funding capital, the recommended investment amount should have been 170. Move on to the next screen, which is the fee screen. Now the fees are just coming from Chant West for this new CFS first choice investment platform. And like I said, in this fees tab, this is where you can add in your own individual fees as well. So now with this BT Panorama, the existing platform, you can see there's, there's no fees coming through. And that's because we're, we're completely getting out of this BT. If we did keep any existing, then the fees will appear. And this is the CFS. These are the two MER fees. And if we want to add any ongoing or one-off fees, we can also do that as well. So let's do an ongoing fee. You can do a percentage or a dollar amount. And we'll just put in 1% and hit save. So that's now added in. And then from there, we go on to the next screen. And the next screen is the features gain and loss. So here you got your existing BT and your new CFS. Uh, one question that I do get a lot is that, can we export the comparison that we've done against not just the BT and the CFS, but also the other platform? Uh, we don't have any sort of uh, export button, which will export that feature comparison. Uh, but what you can do is on your keyboard, control P, or on your browser, generally in the settings, you can go to the print option. And then you can essentially print all that details comparison screen as a, as a PDF document. 
Um, obviously, you can see it's a bit mangled at the top. Uh, that can generally be getting rid of if uh, you get rid of uh, what is it, the headers and footers. Uh, but in this features gain lost, this is what will appear in the SOA document. So you've got your BT, your CFS, and as you can see, it's automatically ticked on important features only. So these are the three that we ticked on in the details comparison screen, and only these will, three will appear. Now with the comparison between the two, it is a manual process. It won't figure out automatically whether the features have been gained or lost. So it's up to you to come through and say, uh, yes, we've lost that feature or yes, we've gained that feature. If you have not selected, then that won't appear in the SOA at all. Uh, but if you do wanna go through all the other features, there's that show all features button, and that's just gonna bring out all the features from that comparison that we're in before. So it's just a matter of coming through here and selecting what's been gained and what's been lost. And then whatever you've selected will be in the SOA document. And like I said, not selected will not come through. And then the final screen is the summary screen. And this will just show you the before and after effect, fairly simple. Uh, but one thing to note is that you have this impact tab, and this is always a good um, tab to use in not just this strategy, but in all strategies that you, you are using, because you'll be able to see the, the after effects. Um, so from here, we can have a look at their investments. You can pretty much switch through any sort of tabs. And as you may have noticed, I've done the, the wrong choice and the CFS is just not doing too well compared to this existing VT. So I can essentially go back um, into the platform list or into the comparison and or more than likely into the option screen and uh, rethink the options that I'm recommending. So from memory, that particular existing investment options that are selected, uh, they did they were quite high in fees and, and do remember that I did add in that 1% ongoing fee as well. So that, that's my bad. Uh, but generally, you can have a look and hover over year by year. And obviously you have in the table excluded and impact. And you'll be able to see the uh, CFS as the impact graph 0.38 mil and the BT at 0.48. Uh, but do remember, um, we obviously started with 70,000 and we've increased that balance to 100,000. So uh, not entirely a like for like, but you get the idea. And then from there, we finalized the strategy and then that's ready to view in the SOA document. Um, so essentially that's pretty much it in terms of the, uh, the strategy itself. It, today was only meant to be a short session. We'll go through the SOA document, but if you guys have any further questions, feel free to reach out in the chat box. So we'll just view the SOA and we'll skip all the fact find info. Oh, wrong SOA document. Uh, for those that don't know or may know, uh, we are designing a SOA template that has videos that uh, explain certain strategies and certain, I guess, financial jargon. So things like uh, if you, if you saw it, there was an asset class video. Um, there's gonna be insurance videos. So when you go through um, any particular strategy, we'll have those videos um, 
So at the moment, we've got our default AI template, and then eventually there'll be a default AI template with those videos explaining. Uh, but if you guys create your own videos, that's great. You can always add them into your SOA template. Um, that can be done just by switching, switching to edit mode or in the configuration directly at the template level. Okay, so here's the advice. Here's the strategy recommendation. Obviously, we're withdrawing from our investment. Uh, one thing to note is that we only use 30,000 from the 100 that we withdrew from. So we can allocate that 70,000 elsewhere, maybe directly held in shares or as a uh, non contestional And then we got the uh, invest in a platform strategy. So, and obviously we're only using that 30,000. So we've made that very clear and correct in the SOA. So here's your current balance, recommended sell amount, recommended buy amount. Just a brief understanding of master trust, benefits of the advice, and then obviously the investment. So these are the ongoing fees for BT and CFS, but we did add another 1%, so obviously that's why the uh, projections didn't look too great. We got the growth split. Those fees here. And then we've got our detailed feature comparison. So these are the features gain and loss. These are the new balances. And then the product recommendations in terms of the uh, investment options. Your asset allocation comparison. So this is what their current was, this is our recommended, and this is what your, uh, your risk profile benchmark is. And then the outcomes in terms of your before and after graphs, and then a change in cash flow. As you can see, the expenses have increased, more than likely due to that fee and whatnot. But then you got your risks and disadvantages for that particular strategy. Discloses and conflict and fees, and then your product fees. So these are your product fees. There's that ongoing 1%. And that's pretty much it. That concludes today's session. Uh, like I said, if you do have any further questions, feel free to use the chat box. If not, hope you enjoyed and hope to see you again at the next one. Uh, if you are interested in joining other training sessions, they're available on our website, just adviceintelligence.com, and there should be a training option at the top. So feel free to register for those. Um, but have a good day and thanks, guys.